age demo about how to make your own website. Um, there's a couple things I wanted to touch um, on before we started to get into the demo. Uh, one being, before you do your website, I really suggest you find out what kind of needs you're going to want for your website. Um, if you're going to need a store, if you're going to need multiple pages, password protection, um, these are kind of things you want to think about beforehand because, um, well, with iPage, it's an added um, cost. Um, also, before you actually get started on your website, I always suggest you write down and do some marketing and planning beforehand. It just makes the process a lot easier and you could just copy and paste everything and you're done. So let's go ahead and just this, um, this screen right here is the control panel and it also has some videos provided by iPage about how to use everything. But um, just kind of, this is some of the features that they have. The good thing about um, iPage is that they also have emailing, um, domain centers, and they actually have marketing services as well. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, we, I go ahead and use the drag and do, um, drop builder. So let's go ahead and click on there. And while it's loading, um, it brings you to here. And just go ahead and log in, I'm sorry. Okay, and you're just going to go ahead and edit my site. And I'll bring you, um, I'm using the current site right now. Um, so let, let me just kind of go over the top part with you. Um, on the top part, it has the elements, design, pages, settings, and right here has um, the options that you have under elements and so forth. Usually when you first get started with your website, um, you could go ahead and choose the design. They have a lot of different designs that they have here. Um, I mean, as you can see, there's different types. It, it just depends on what you want to do with your site, what type of theme you want to go with. It's pretty easy. They, um, if you have um, photos that you want to incorporate, you could go ahead and do that. They also have a library you could use. Um, so, and right here, on the next tab, they have the pages and all the different features that you could do with those pages. I'll go over that shortly. Right here are the settings, and um, you could do different things with the, your site here. Um, obviously, the, um, the site's name. Um, you could add pictures for your icons. You could set a password for your site. You could actually do search engine optimization. If you're doing an e-commerce site, which is like a web store, you could do that and you can also set a site for mobile settings so when people are looking on their cell phones or their smartphones they'll be able to look at your site easily on on their phones so um, well, I'll go ahead and start just by kind of getting an idea we'll go ahead and create a page so here we are at the page um, add page you could add a page you could edit the ones that you have here. You have different elements that you can do can use from your from your settings that you already your design that you already picked out. You could also link. You could add um, add a blog from a separate link. Like let's say you're using TypePad, and you want to incorporate your blog onto your website. You could go ahead and do that with this. Just you're going to tap on it and then insert your domain name or your link. Uh, this is also a good feature right here where it says um, hide from your navigate navigation menu. Um, this meaning when you have your site, you can have multiple pages. Um, just what you want to make visible for your, your clients or your customers. Um, there's always a bar that helps you navigate through the website. And if you want that page available for your customers, um, you would just go ahead and leave it and make it available on your navigation menu. If you don't want them to see it and just have the link for yourself, let's say you want to make it private for some reason, you could go ahead and do that. Also here, you could uh, do password protection. If you want to only let certain people see it, that's an option you have as well, but I believe that's only on the premium. And the advanced settings also for your your Google Analytics, your SEO, and uh, so you have those options as well. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is add a page.
new page and I'm just gonna you can name it whatever you want I'm gonna go ahead and put new product I'm going to make this available um, to my navigation bar um, I'm gonna leave it as normal um, if you have this also comes in handy I've known some clients of ours that had um, they don't use the e-commerce on the site they have it set up through their credit card processor. You could go ahead and do that if you have a page already available. You just click here and it'll tell you which um, link you want it to go into. But I don't want to do this in this case, so I'm just going to keep everything as is. Also up here, if you want to edit the page, you click here, copy page. And if you want to delete the page, you could go ahead and do that here. So go ahead and click edit page and it'll take you to the page directly. Um, also with iPage, you could have here on every page if you have some Facebook, Twitter um, links you want to use. Up here, like I, again, we talk about the elements. You have your basic, multimedia, revenue, and more. So right here, um, this is just text. You could add photos, um, title bars. If you just need text, if you want to add multiple columns onto this, you could go ahead and do that. H custom HTML. These are often used, let's say you have an email campaign going on, um, or you use email marketing, and you want to add people to your email list. A lot of, uh, they'll give you an HTML that you can add to your site, and it'll pop up in there, and whenever you have clients wanting to submit their email address for your promotions and so forth, you, they could go ahead and do that. It's already linked up through this HTML. Also, you have contact form. This contact form goes, um, let's say somebody wants to request a quote or you want to get information about your customers, they want to contact you, we could do that with this right here. Um, also, this button, sometimes you want to um, link to a different site or a different link on your page. This is going to give you that ability. Um, the site lock. Also, is it can that is an added feature that you could purchase. It just kind of helps with the credibility of your site, just so that your customer knows that it's not a spam site or or that um, you're going to hijack their computer or so forth. It, they kind of do a check on you. Right here, multimedia. If you have a photo gallery, if you have four or five pictures that you want to show, um, we've had some people that do construction and so forth and they want to display their work. You could do that. You could also do a slideshow. Um, this gives you the ability right here, the file exchange. Um, if you want to have um, files available for your customers to download onto their computer, you can give them that option right here. You just upload the file onto your site and they'll have the ability to download it whenever they want. If you have some audio, let's say you have a uh, interview, audio interview, or so forth, you wanted to incorporate on your website, you could go ahead and do this. Um, right here under the embedded documents, um, this gives you the option. Let's say you have a PDF file that you want to make available to your your customers, and right when they um, get onto your site. They have that available without having to download it or anything. The only thing with the embedded documents, it uses Flash. So if you want to make this available to something on, on the iPad or iPhone, they won't be able to see it. Um, if you have a Flash video as well, you could incorporate, it, incorporate that. Um, Google Maps, this is actually kind of neat. Um, if you want to have, let's say you have a retail store and you want to make it easy for your customers to find it, you could just drag this on there and um, have a Google map right onto your your site. If you have a Flickr um, slideshow, you could incorporate that. If you have um, demonstrations or YouTube videos, you could go ahead and incorporate that as well. Next one, we'll go over revenue. So let's say you have some products that you want to start selling online. You could go ahead and do that with these elements. And they have just different product boxes, and you just click and drag it onto the to right here. And you could edit it. I'll go into detail right now with this. And this one has a little bit more. Um, you could go into, you could have an RSS feed, again, with the HTML. If you wanted to divide up some things on your web page, you could go ahead and do that with this divider. 
Um, I haven't used this feature, but um, iPage uses a third party um, company. And let's say you're having an event and you want people to RSVP. This will allow you to do that. Um, like I get, again, I'm not too familiar with it, so um, I, I can't really demonstrate that here. Um, and these two are the same as the previous ones. So let me go ahead and let's start making a page. So let's go ahead and make a title. So what I did is I just clicked and dragged and I want to add it here. So there we go. Um, I went ahead and used one of our products. So I'm just going to copy and paste it. So I have that there. And let's do some a paragraph. And again, I'm just going to copy and paste from my document. If I could find my document. <laughs> okay. Again, copy, paste. And there we go. So we have this here. Oops, what happened to my... And I'll just go ahead and I'll just add a title on top of that. I'll just put new product for now. So we have a title page and um, let's let's say I want to add um, some pictures to this. Um, if you wanted, to, let me just kind of go into, these are just, if you want to add a picture, again, you want to just drop it and drag. Click and drag. Okay, let's say I want to do a slideshow. So I'm going to click, drag, and I want it at the very top. It gives you the options here of which types that you want. So I'm going to click on that one and upload pictures. So let's say I want to do these and open. And I'll upload these pictures for you. And if you want to add a caption here, you can. If you decided you want you don't want this one anymore, you could delete it. And let's say you want to have this link to another part of your page or an email address, a file on your website, another page on your website, another URL, you could go ahead and do that. But I don't want to do that today, so I'm, I just wanted to show you the options. So, okay, these are the pictures I wanted. So, as you can see, I have a slideshow. And let's say I decided against this, so I'm just going to go ahead and delete this. Um, let's go into... Let's say if I want to add a YouTube video. So again, just click and drag. You have this here, and um, they already have one preset. So if I wanted to watch this video, it would play. So that's a nice feature. Um, and if you had a, another URL, you would just type it in here, and it would show for you. So. Let's, um, and it's the same thing with other things. Let's say you want to add a Google's map. I want to add this at the bottom here. So there you go. There's the map. All you're going to do is click, and the bar is going to come up, and just go ahead and type your address. And... There you go, it's already doing it. You could, If you do not want to show the marker, you could don't have marker. I usually prefer the drop pin helps. Um, you can make it larger if you like. Um, the height, small left, you could do a lot of different things. But usually this is, this is good enough. Um, most people know how to maneuver Googles. Um, but like I said, if you want to get rid of something, all you do is click on this X up here. And you delete it. Um, another feature I wanted to go over really quick was the contact form. So um, let's say we just want to put a contact form at the very beginning. So right here you could do um, you could put in here request a quote. 
So you have this here and when you type in there, as you can see, there's different elements that come up on here. So um, let's say you want, also want to get your client's phone number. You just drop and drag and then now they have the ability put, to put that in there. Um, when you click on the submit button, contact form, you're going to want to do this for sure. Um, you want to put um, where you, the information is going to go to. So if you wanted to go to your email address, let's say um, info at ISB, oops, isbmag.com. And um, also here you could set a, a confirmation text. So as soon as they submit their information, this is what's going to um, appear to your, your customer, your client, or prospective cu um, customer. So that's good. You could go ahead and save it and um, contact form. Everything looks fine for me. And it'll be here right on top of everything else. And if you want it, let's say you want, you don't like how it looks there. You still want it underneath. You just click and drag and underneath the video when you see this orange line, you just kind of will appear right above that orange line. So you could just use a whole bunch of different things to make it what you need for your company. Again, I'm going to click on here. Let's say I want to say after the phone number if we can give you a call. So you're going to drop that in there. Click on here. And this bar will come up. And you could just pick um, products. Info. Or just put product. And you could just go ahead and edit option as well right here. And then you'll put coaching or whatever product that you want. Webinars. Or other. And so you could go ahead and use that. And let's do a Dropbox. Right here, again, you're going to, uh, can we call you? So you know, that'll appear there. Edit options, and yes or no. And we don't have a third option, so we're just going to go ahead and delete that. So it's saved. So now that you have this Dropbox, uh, you could this um, contact form, request a quote, and you're going to require them to put their name, their email, their phone number, if they uh, want you to call them, yes or no. And just to show you, it does appear like that. What products they're interested in, they have comments. And once they're done with all that and they submit it, it's going to go directly to your email. So um, you could go ahead and have all this prepared. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take these off. And I'm going to put a product box. So let me just delete these. Okay, so we're going to go to revenue and I'm just going to put a box here. Okay, and um, let's say here's a photo. I'm just going to pick um, a photo here. And there we go. Product name. Click. There's my dog in the back, so I'll go ahead and put um, Poodle as the product description for $100. <laughs> so I'm just going to leave it. Let's say you didn't like this one. So we could go ahead and click out of here. And 
you could change some of these things. Uh, you could resize the picture if you need to. Um, again, right here you didn't like the block style, you could want to do a larger one. There you go. And I'll go ahead and you can put the product name here and have it change. So it sometimes, um, since I'm recording, it's taking a little bit of time to acknowledge it, but it's usually a lot faster than that. And here you go, and again, you don't like that one, you want to do a regular, it'll change it to that appearance. Um, you don't want to add to cart, you want to have buy now, and so forth. So you have this on here, and once you have that under the settings and you go under, um, um, you hook it up with your PayPal or whatever you want to use, you could go ahead and I'll start accepting the payments. Um, so let's say this is done, we like how it looks and we're, we're ready to publish. Right here, you just hit the link publish and I'll be publishing. And you just click on there and you'll see new product and it's published. So um, that's how you'll know whether it worked or not. So let's say after you're all um, done, you decided that this product was, um, you want to revise it or you want to discontinue this product and have another one and create a new page. You would just go to pages again and under new product, let's say you just wanted to delete it. It's easy as that, that's all you do. And you could just add a new page and start from the beginning. Um, I hope this helped you, and I hope you can see how easy creating a website can be. Um, if you have any questions, shoot me an email. I'll be happy to answer them. Um, thank you again, and I hope you have fun creating your own website. Thank you. Bye-bye.